Here we have our reference photo of the grand architecture I'm going to draw. It's a theatre in Brazil, sadly, no longer with us. But in some ways it reminds me of a younger brother of Palagania. With plenty of the ornamentation we come to expect from late 19th century grand architecture. So how do we draw it? Freehand in pen, no pencil under drawing, no chance to erase lines that aren't quite in the right spot. Well firstly I'm going to use a fairly loose style of drawing because that lets me correct lines which aren't exactly in the right spot first time without it being too obvious at the end. As always I need to choose a spot which I can move out from. A part of the drawing I can draw fairly accurately, fairly easily and get all the proportions correct. Which for me is going to be this front colonnade, starting with this column and then moving across. Once I've got this section done, I have something substantial as a reference point, both to align other details, but also to work out their scale. The other thing it's good to make a conscious choice about before we start is our pen size. Although I often draw with a 0.5 millimeter pen, I feel that there's just too much detail for the size I'm going to draw this for a 0.5. The line will be too thick and it will just give a heavy inky feel to this graceful building. So I'm going to use a 0.3 millimeter for this closer section and then a 0.2 millimeter for this one and probably for this section too. And I'll use a 0.1 just for this section over here to help it sit right back and not be too obvious. And the other issue we need to work out before we start is how we're dealing with local color or shadow or shade. Whether we're going to use some form of tone or coloring or hatching because this decision does affect the line work we use in our drawing. I've already decided that I'm going to use tone using these Copic sketch markers and I'll be using the brush end of those. So I'll be using probably four or five tones of their neutral gray color. Time to start. Here we have the first section. So what are my thoughts? Well, I've, um, I initially started by drawing these columns too thick, but fortunately there is shade on one side of them. So I've been able to allow for the fact that that will mask additional width lines that I've drawn at the start. It also took me a little while to work out what was happening here with this arch. I was just a bit too quick to start drawing and not observant enough before I did that. But again, because there's tone in here, I think that's going to kind of hopefully hide that a bit. There's so much detail. The trick in my mind is to draw the effect of the detail, not getting bogged down in trying to draw the actual detail. And so in things such as Corinthian columns, it's usually the shadows that we're drawing not the actual objects. Again though, because I'm going to use tone for the shadows, there's only a limited amount I want to do now with the pen. But I did get this arch way out of scale. It's, it's simply too large. 
for the rest of the building. But I am hoping that these two egg-shaped domes, particularly since they're larger, will uh, draw the eye away from some of the proportions that aren't quite right. What I plan to do now is to draw these two sections because that will give me a better sense of scale. It is difficult just having drawn this bit to work out exactly how my proportions are going. So we'll get back to drawing. I'll start to suggest some of the details in that I haven't actually drawn yet because however much I suggest the details for the closer objects, I need to suggest them with less detail for the further away decorative elements, even if it's the actual same decoration to help give the sense of depth. So I can't judge how to do the further away decorations until I've done the closer ones. This has taken me just under an hour so far and looking at it again, making some judgments. I've drawn this one too large, probably. Yes, I certainly have just looking at it again, but I'll try and change the proportions a little by just increasing this here, which will make this look less long when I put the tone over the top. And I think that gives just a better rounded proportion for that tower. However, I think this tower will feel larger when this sculptural decoration on the dome behind is put in place. So I'm not going to fret too much about these proportions because while they're not perfect, I feel like they're not going to look so obvious when the rest of the building is drawn in behind. So next, I think I'm going to finish this side of what I assume is a grand foyer inside here, as in Palais Garnier, and this dome here on top. Because I think it's better to have this done just for getting a feel for the scale and proportions before I move on to anything further here.
So now I'm going to use a lighter pen, a 0.2, and do this section here. And then I'm going to come down and finish this section right across the front. You'll notice I try and draw the things that are in front of things behind before I draw the things behind. Generally that lets me not run lines through other objects or even take the lines right up to them to create a halo effect just to create a bit of visual distinction with those closer things. After that I'll be thinking about the tone and how to put it on and most importantly what range of values I'll use where. I think this is now about an hour and a half of actual line work and now I've got to think about the tone and before I forget I need to put some tape around it. For me the overriding thing when applying tone is not so much to exactly represent what's in the reference but to enhance the line work which means while I try and go with the tonal values in my reference I will make adjustments if I feel that they increase the readability, the interest, the visual drama of the drawing. So I'm going to be using uh, Copic Neutral Grey uh, sketch markers. I'll be using the brush end and I usually use between 0 and 6 which is a range of 7. I can't exactly tell you which ones I'm going to use because we understand value in relation to other values. Sometimes I start with a really light value. Sometimes I start with a really dark one and sometimes I choose a mid one, a mid, a mid value on the lighter side, which is possibly what I'll do now. So I'm thinking I'll start with a two, which is really for the local color on the roof. And then from that, I'll start to judge whether I go for a four or a five or even some in some places a six. But first I'll put the tape around. And unfortunately I didn't have my camera properly positioned. I forgot to, once I got this all taped in place, I forgot to slide it back along. So you probably won't see where I put the tape down on this side.
And so here is our Brazilian theatre finished. I'd forgotten to put some tone on the eagle. There was a bit of decoration here I'd forgotten and a bit of decoration here. It's always good to keep your pens close by when applying the tone because as we place the tone over the top we can often notice where we were going to come back to do line work but didn't quite remember. I'll put this photo on my community page if you'd like to have a go at drawing some grand architecture freehand yourself. I have wondered one more thing which I think I will do. Just create a little separation between the lines of the building and the trees which I think probably is helpful. G'day I'm Stephen Travers. I hope you found this interesting and even helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.